Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Pregame festivities just about over. Players about to head to their sidelines, just about set for action in the Big Ten. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the head. First time here, or you play here every week. A full house at Michigan Stadium always takes your breath away. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Both teams have sent their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. From his own goal line, brought down at the 30-yard line. The Hoosiers' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. They'll bring him down at the 50. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. Brown picks up a yard on the scramble. That brings up second and nine. tackled around the 49-yard line. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Falls to the ground. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Miller back to return it. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Here's a run. Makes it to the 37. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. Toss. He takes it right side for a good game. Picked up a first down on that carry. Yeah, a good job up front by the offensive line. They picked up some nice blocks to allow that back to get in there for some extra yardage. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Yeah. 
He's at midfield. Gets out to around the 45. Williams on a pitch out. Gets to about the 44-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Bryant gets the ball. And down he goes at the 45. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going. Downtown. That's a great tackle at the six. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's scrambling. Slides down to the ground. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. This is the ninth play of this drive. It's power against power right now on the field. Both teams have their jumbo sets out there. Tackle made at the one-yard line. Game of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Here's a handoff, and he saves the score. Loss of three on the play. That brings us fourth and goal. Michigan is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and restate. In the Big 12, they spread you out and pitch that magic beam everywhere. And for Texas Tech, they've lost two in a row. The Mustangs win it, 31-21. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Michigan's loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. He's taken down around the 40-yard line. Well, it's a first down here, and I'd love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or, at times, running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hands. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. Michigan leads it 3-0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Hey, 
Look at his scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Dunn takes the give. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. it out and it falls incomplete. The Hoosiers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Doty is the punter. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Michigan is up a field goal. Scrambling around. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop around the 28-yard line. He was lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage on that scramble. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. He was a little erratic on that pass, but there's no denying that he can really hum it in there. Third and ten. Ball on the 28. He's got all day. Once and all, going deep. Doesn't get there. Bailey the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Hines to punt. He's taken down at the 47. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Quick pass. Tackle at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and one. They're going to need about four. That close to being intercepted. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He takes it at the 12. He's tackled at the 26. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Michigan is up by three. Here's a handoff left side. And they push him out around the 39-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run. And that creates chances in the play-action passing game. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Get 
gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down around the 44-yard line. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. He's brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. From the 48-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. Got a first and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. He scrambles. Lost the ball. Fumble. They fall on it. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? Well, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 36-yard line. Indiana will take their first time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Slings it, and he's tackled at the 47-yard line. That's a team of 17. You don't want that. First down. You don't want that. Fires out to his receiver. Steps out of bounds at the 39-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. Five wide. He's scrambling, and they got it. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. He's looking for his man. Third down and a couple of miles here. Ball in the 29. Deep pass to the end zone. And this one's broken up. Great job there by the corner to knock away the deep pass to the end zone. Good protection. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Huge play for the defense. The offense comes out of the field and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes around the 38-yard line. The Wolverines are going to call their second timeout. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Michigan has a three-point lead. 
Rifles it left. Stewart was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. He's into the open field. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. an open field tackle. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 37. complete. He's hammered. That's the end of the half, and believe it or not, folks, it's still anyone's ball game. Three nothing, Wolverines. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show, presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. you got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, baby? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Michigan holds a field goal lead. Now he's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's taken down at about the 35. From their own 35-yard line. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at the 36. Taken down around the 43 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And it's caught, and they make the stop at the 49.
from their own 48-yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings us third and ten. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 42, Mike 42. Michigan is up a field goal. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. A couple of yards there. This kid's just a sophomore. He'll learn how to break those short catches in the big games. Vogel, the return man. Signals for a fair catch. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he hits him hard at the 18. Ramsey makes the tackle at the 18-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. to about the 34-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of 16, 16 yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. Hey, look, 48. Hey, come on, Mike, the 48. Hey, hey, Out of there. 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 Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And he's level at the 44. Gain of 10 yards. First down. Man left, man left. Blue 14! Blue 14! Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. Five-yard line. Second down. They'll knock him down for a loss. The Hoosiers saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He wants it all. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Miller, back to return it. He fields it at the 17. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Indiana's the team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Williams gains around three yards on that draw play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Michigan is up by three. Throws complete, he stopped immediately.
First and ten. Ball on their own 48. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. 3-0, Michigan. Well, this final few minutes is going to determine this one. Tight ball game. Action set to start here in the fourth quarter. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's at the 20. He gets hit out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Michigan has a three-point lead. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. That's a great tackle at the 19. From the 19-yard line, second down. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. This is the eighth play of this drive. Nice play to set up first and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? Let's take a look at some action in the Big 12. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Cowboys pull it off by a single. 10-0 in this one. Hines is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Wolverines' defense came to play, and, man, they have played beautifully. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. He's on the run. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. He's tackled at the 32. Looks to his receiver, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes, that makes it second, second and six. Blue 19. 
Throws it to the halfback, and he's got it again. And he stopped behind the line. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. Watch two, watch two. Now we'll see how the backup can do after that injury. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Ready! Ready! Aaron and out long. And he got it. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. It makes for an easy completion when you've got a guy who's that wide open. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 80-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven-on-seven -seven drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. Alvarez fields it at the one. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. I tell you what, this is something Pollock could love. Crunch time and a defensive back. Right, he's sitting back at that studio loving this. Two defenses that are really imposing their will on these two offenses. Maybe they can even score to help out one of these offenses win the game. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He fires left side. Picked off. Defense just came up with a huge interception. That might be the biggest play of the game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Just under two minutes in the game. Finds his man, first down, and down he goes, right around the 38-yard line. First down. He's got it with room to run. Good tackle there in space. That's good for a five yards. That brings him second and five. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 33. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He goes downtown. Just an unbelievable stop when they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped it, but it just wasn't to be. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Up the middle for a nice game. Williams gets six yards on the play. Indiana is going to use their first time out of the half here. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Under a minute left in the game. 
tackle made at about the 49. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Indiana will use their final timeout. Second down and 12. Ball on the 49. Takes a knee. see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things and why not his defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter that's going to do it for this one our final score 10-7 Michigan that does it for this edition of NCAA football 14 for Kirk Herbstreit I'm Brad Nestler saying so long